Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, I'm like the explosive one. Uh, let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. There is some wild things going on at universities across the American landscape right now. I mean, it's hard not to notice, Jonas, but yeah, there is. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, if you've been living under a rock, not the country, uh, there is a bunch of protests going on at college campuses around the country. I don't even know how many. Tons. Uh, All over the country. I mean, even here in Austin, stuff was going on. So, but, like, I think the thing that's really been catching the eye of the public... What's that? Is the amount of police presence and force and other things that are being used, especially when they're, it's not a violent protest. Um, I, I, I struggle to comprehend how there's like lawful police action happening for something like this, Jonas. What? Yeah, me, well, me too. That That's the point. Like, I thought, I thought protests were like, okay. And now I'm not speaking from a, a position of being on the left or being on the no, right. No, no, we're not talking, the, we're talking I, pure American rights. So like, yeah, and I don't know if it's like where they're assembling is the problem or if they're like, there, there's some different things I'll chat about here in a minute that I know. But like, I, yeah, I don't understand because I mean, you see... You see videos of like neo Nazis and other things like walking down the street with guns, and the police ain't throwing them on the ground and yeah, yeah. and arresting them and stuff. But like these college students are like sitting around and they're getting like thrown around. They're shooting rubber bullets at them. They're like, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and and blame it completely on the police to oh, insinu- no, no, and to no. insinuate that they're the agitators in these events. I'm sure there probably are some bad actors oh, absolutely. in those groups because you're going to have that whenever you have a large amount of people. You know, it's like it's like law of large numbers. When you have a large number of people, you're gonna end up with a psychopath. All right. Yep. I'm sorry. It's just gonna happen. So I'm sure there are there have been some incidents where the police were very warranted in their intervention. So oh, I'm sure. Let's just get that. I'm out sure. Of the way. But like, but I've seen thing a few different things that I've seen is like, um, there was I saw a video online of like there was a, there was a a kid at UCLA campus. Yeah. He was like, he was trying to go to class. Mm-hmm. And the protesters just like wouldn't let him by, and he was like, yes. "I'm just trying to go to class. Can I go? I, I'm supposed to go right there. Let me by." And they're like, "No." So it, it seems to me like the the point of protest is kind of like what the just stop oil guys were doing, where they just like impede your path and like you, you can't go. I'm sorry, we can't let you go here. We're protesting. Yeah, and I think that's probably um, part of the uh, the issue. Um, but yeah, but there, but I mean, there's also I mean some real wild stuff going on like like at uh columbia they ended, like they they were like trying to corner them or take them away they ended up breaking into a building and like holding up in there which obviously that's too far illegal like you're you're breaking into buildings like that's but that's what happens man the, every like you talked about there's always a crazy one like yeah. protests start out right and then like someone gets agitated and then someone's like let's break a window and they're like yeah and, and then next <laughs> and then next thing you know like there's a riot people are looting it's like i mean it's but it's just it escalates very quickly tensions are high it can it can um i will say is that uh, we spoke on it a little bit uh, last week when we were talking about the uh, the transit uh, trans. Uh, oh, the the, the the free Palestine story hour with the drag yeah. queen. Yeah, um, like I said, a revolution is always pure, but just people can fuck it up. So I will say it's like you brought up an angle of it being viewed as an anti-Semitic rally. Yeah, if they're if well, I mean, the one we're showing on the screen is I think it's pro. Uh, Israel, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Like yeah, a lot yeah, of them yeah. are the the ones that. But you feel- said they, that even these pro is. Oh well, this was a pro Israel. But you said the the, the pro Palestine ones were yeah. being viewed as anti Semitic rallies. I guess I don't understand like the. And I can see that angle. I honestly can, but I kind of feel like that only illuminates the issue that when you designate one area as a a purely religious country or state or whatever pro i don't know what it's classified as that only illuminates that kind of issue and i don't, I ne- don't necessarily say like you know you, you need to change that but i say is that that illuminates that issue because if they were to encounter a jewish student and that jewish student were to be harassed which i'm sure has happened 
Well, that's, that's why not... I think it was happening in that UCL LA situation. I think the, the student was Jewish, and they just weren't letting him into class. See now, like that's going too far. Oh no! I, I mean, how it's... are you? How are you gonna blame a Jew that's sitting here in the same school as you for some shit that's going on, uh, like across the world? And don't get me wrong. I've been trying to educate myself on this on this subject, Jonas, on the low, so that I can bring some some actual intelligence to this goddamn podcast about the subject. And I realize that there have been over forty thousand innocent people who have lost their lives over in in uh, Palestine right now. I understand that there have been hundreds of cities just like leveled to the ground. I've seen some of the footage. I'm not looking up that graphic shit because that's not on my, that's not on my, I got too much, I got to work, all right? (laughs) I got to fucking sleep at night and eat breakfast, all right? I am not doing that. But I do realize is that when I look at the atrocities that are happening, I I see what side I'm leaning towards, but I do want to educate myself on the other side as well. Right. It's very before easy. I make a a finite decision on what side of history I want to lie on. Yeah, it's very easy to see atrocities and be like, that's terrible. Cause it is. It is. But like, but you don't uh, yeah, I don't know the history. I don't know the re you know, all hey, that stuff. So I'm gonna, I, t- I'm gonna tell you right now, Jonas, it's looking right now like I came up and I shot you and I put you in a coma, right? Okay. You came out of your coma. And you killed my entire family. Okay. So, yeah, that's kind of what it's feeling like right now. Okay. When I when I when I look at it right now, that's what it's looking like. Okay. Like definitely, bad shit happened on both sides. Is the person justified, bro? I just, it's, it's hard to tell, but my family's innocent. Right, 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 right. And that's what I'm seeing a lot of right now. So yeah. that that is that is the way that I see it as a layman, somebody who is completely uneducated. So I don't want anybody to look at my view and take that for for law. Yeah, no, I mean, but that's we, what we I that's what it feels like. Neutral ish here. Or just try to like talk about what's going on as like a person in the world. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's rough. It's but rough. I mean, like, yeah, it's happening here in Austin. It's happening in UCLA, uh, Columbia, all over the world, all over the country, and like, it's just. There's a lot of s- tension. <laughs> There's uh, been hundreds of arrests all over this country. Oh Jonas. yeah, and hundreds of arrests. Quote unquote innocent people getting pepper spray. Because like there's videos from here at UT, people just like cops spraying pepper spray into the crowd. There ain't there ain't anybody fighting or carrying guns. Yeah, there are people cops shooting rubber bullets at protesters. Like that shit will break a bone. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say is that I don't see a cop getting out of his squad car with his rubber bullet gun and just like unleashing into the crowd, <laughs> like he's a goddamn Columbine artist. I don't, I just don't see that happening. No, there's, I mean, there is videos. Of- I mean, I've seen the video. I have seen the videos, but I'm not saying. I'm just saying is that he didn't get out of his car like he was John Wick, lift his gun up and just start like firing into the audience and start firing right, into the crowd. Right, right. There was things that led to that things got to that point i've also seen protesters running into running into groups of uh police officers with like riot shields why are you running into the cops man yeah why? i don't, I know, don't know what's ha- we we cannot 100 percent say that either side is at fault oh no yeah and i refused i refuse to say so if you feel differently no, Jonas, i don't know enough about it man but like it's just it's I wild to, like I it's can't, i can't it, part of me part of me believes that there's like people who are unaffiliated yeah. that are r- causing a ruckus. Like, like, oh, yeah. like you know, like they said on January 6th, there was like, there was people who came in to rile shit up. Yeah. Like there's just people who don't go to UCLA, but they're like, let's go to UCLA and rile it up. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, Jonas, man, you make a good point. I will have to say is that what better way to make something look bad than to go there under the guise of looking like you want to be helpful and then just doing some stupid shit. Right, or instigating. Where you're instigating just like, like man, why don't you shit. throw a rock through that window, dude? Like, yeah. that'll show him. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're just some guy in the crowd trying to, like, tell some idiot to throw a rock. And, like... I think that happens on both sides. If oh. You, if you, if you, I mean, if it's a little harder to show up and pretend to be a cop, though. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? But like, like, how easy would it be How easy would it be to go to a Trump rally and just pretend that you're a, a, a Republican... 
And just oh, yeah, that's just the exercise in, uh, what do you call that? Improv? Improv, yeah. I mean, I, I guarantee you there's bad actors, man. Like, <laughs> people, there are people who just love to see the world burn, man. They're like, oh, I'm close. I can go there. I'll dress up I mean, like pro Palestine, pro Israel, whatever, and then just go out and just like instigate. Yeah. I want to see something pop off. Like it's like the people like like when you're downtown and like a fight's about to break out and some dude's like, hit him! Like from the middle of the crowd. Had nothing to do with nothing. But they're screaming out, hit him. Like they just want to see they just want to see the world burn, man. Like they yeah. want to see it happen. So yeah. I don't know, dude. Yeah. It's I wild. mean, look. I will say is that I believe in your 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 goddamn American right to protest, and I feel like these protesters should be allowed to protest. Do your thing, man. Um, and and honestly, students have been on the right side of history for a long time in this country in the past. So you know, I mean, they have it's, man. Well, it's very interesting when you when you look at history. like history at the history. time, people say the same thing. Exactly. But when you look back, like the Kent State, like you know, putting the flowers in the gun, like people. When you look back at that, yeah. seventy years later, sixty years, people are like, even when you look at South Korea, the South Korean incident, that yeah. shit lasts in history forever. Yeah, man. Students it's, have it's, been on the right side of history, man, because because they're the next generation. Amen. They're the ones coming up to like live this, in the world that we're creating right now. So because whether you like it or not, they all are that exactly Jonas whether you fucking like it or not they are that so fucking submit to the young all right submit to the young I'm sorry you have to because they are the future so whether you like it or not you're fighting against your goddamn future when you fight against these people who are fighting for what the why fuck are they all believe the people in. who make all the rules so old they are right now they are building things that are going to lead their lifestyle you can either enrich it or you can fight against it, but this is what's going to happen. You, me, we're going to die. These people are going to remember this moment, and this will be our future. I don't agree with anything against Jews. I don't agree with that anti-Semitic shit. But you should definitely be against what you believe. Suppressing the young. And you should stand for what you believe in. Hey, man. You know, it's, I don't, uh, I think everybody has a right to do what they want to do, but like. I mean, we'll see, man. The country's definitely divided right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then we got a the heated ass election coming up. It's gonna be a crazy time. <laughs> Nobody wants to vote for anybody. There's gonna be there's gonna, there's be, gonna be four votes for the whole country. <laughs> I was gonna go higher, it's but gonna, I like it's that. Be, it's gonna be like Willy Wonka wrote in. God damn, if there's four votes, Biden loses. If, <laughs> I'm being I'm being real. I'm so, being real. If there's uh, four votes, Biden loses, that's man. That's funny. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Three to one. TNT. Oh, we out.